I bought a cabin. I'm totally kidding. Welcome or welcome back to the Lockwood Chronicles. My name is Larissa and today we're at the lake. <laughs> Lockwood Lake Retreat, because that's what we're doing. We're at the lake. We're having a nice little lake retreat at a cabin. And um, this is so weird, but like uh, my really good friend, their family wasn't using their cabin this weekend and it's Labor Day weekend and all of my family and friends, like my parents are going camping, but the campsite is super packed and we camp differently. Uh, and then all of my friends, they have their own family cabins that they're going to and it just didn't work out this year that I had somewhere or someplace to go and they weren't using the cabin. I said, hey, could I? And they graciously and kindly gave me the keys to their cabin this weekend. And I am so excited. So we're just going to have a Lockwood Lake retreat. We're going to do reading, obviously. We're going to hang out at the lake, on the lake. I brought my floaty. Um, and we're just, we're going to journal. We're going to do yoga. We're going to do all the lake retreat vibes. Ah, I'm so excited. I just got here. It is around lunchtime, so I'm probably gonna eat and then I'm gonna boogie myself down to the water because it is supposed to be super hot today, like high 90s. And I'm not about that. Well, I am about that. I'm about that when I'm on a lake. So I'm very excited to just be here. And oh, I like, I just, this is probably my favorite place on earth. I love it. I was here for Memorial weekend and it was just so wonderful, peaceful. This is such a beautiful, cabin and such a beautiful lake and it's so peaceful and just any lakes are my favorite body of water. I love lakes. I'm a lake gal and if you're in the Midwest, Minnesota, Wisconsin specifically, lake life is a huge part of the community up here. It's like paired with construction season, you know, construction season and lake life. They are hand in hand best friends. My family didn't have a cabin growing up, um, so I've always had to kind of mooch off friends that didn't have cabins. And one day I will be that friend for my friends to mooch off of that don't have cabins. Because I want a cabin so bad on a lake. We all know this. That's why all my ambiances are always cabins on a lake. So let's get started so we can go read on the lake. Oh, that reminds me. I brought my Kindle. I also brought a physical book just in case my Kindle acts up. I'm always terrified that it's gonna happen. So I always bring like a physical book with my Kindle. On my Kindle, I started Divine Rivals. Um, I read the prologue last night before I passed out after volleyball. Let's do things. A little breezy in 76 out right now. It's just be 91 later this afternoon. So we're gonna read until it warms up a bit because it's just a little too breezy to be out on the water with it. This not chilly because it's beautiful out, but the sun's not directly over the lake yet, so it'll be too cold for me. So let's just read. So I just finished chapter one and this is about Iris Winnow and she is a reporter. And this is kind of like a fantasy, I guess. Like it's not in the real world, I believe. And her rival is Roman Kit. And it's important for you to know their last names because they use them interchangeably. So people will call her Winnow and people and she'll call him Kit and all of that. So they're going by their last name, names a lot, but they refer to each other in first names. Also, I'm holding some chocolate caramels. They're so sticky though, and I really want to eat them right now, but then I won't be able to talk for like five minutes. Anyway, so they both work at this paper and they're both up for this job as a permanent columnist, publisher at the paper. He was originally favoring Roman, and but then came across 
Iris's writing and hired her on. So they're both up for the same position and they constantly go back and forth with like the assignments and who's going to get the next assignment. It's definitely known that they have a little animosity throughout the office. There's a war going on right now that her brother is fighting in. That's, that's what's happening. It's between two gods, I suppose. So yeah, that's where that fantasy element, it's very like mixed between is it real life or is it fantasy? Right now it's like in a fantasy world, but I don't know what the magic differentiation. I'm, I would, I'm, I'd just be happy just sitting here all day, just outside on the deck. There's like a little sun patch over there that I can lay out on too. But just being here just makes me so, so happy. Just like having this privacy as well as just looking at the lake and just listening to the breeze through the trees and like all the little birdies and the little wildlife and the, you know, motor boats. <laughs> I'm just so happy. This is like all I want in life is a cabin of my own. Okay, is it a magical typewriter or a magical wardrobe? So Iris has been writing her brother letters while he's in the war, but she doesn't have an address, so she just puts him in the wardrobe. And they disappear. So she's like, oh, maybe magic is helping them deliver it to him. And she puts one in there. She receives her first ever response and it says this isn't Forrest which is her brother. Who is it? Who could it possibly be? I think we can all guess that but oh my gosh it's so cute. I don't know why I felt the need to put pants on because I felt weird talking to you in my swimsuit box. <laughs> but I'm having what one would call a dilemma. Do I have my sweet peach iced tea super greens or a iced pumpkin spice chai tea latte? I could have caffeine because I could stay up late tonight. <laughs> Rage! <laughs> AKA read my book and journal and do cute girly things or I could have sweet iced tea and like be refreshed. I think I'm gonna do the the super greens. That sounds really refreshing right now actually so we're gonna do that. Thank you for helping me. I also bought these glazed donuts. They did have the chocolate ones. I'm gonna have one of these and then my super greens which is a weird combination. That's why I kind of wanted the latte because I feel like the donuts go better with the latte <laughs> but it really doesn't matter. Girl dinner! <laughs> Okay, these were a lot bigger than I thought. I thought they were gonna be mini donuts. But they're like just smaller than a regular donut. Let's try one. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. I don't know if it's because I haven't had a donut in a really long time that it's that good. Now if they just make a frosted, a white frosted sprinkle donut. <laughs> I almost peed my pants, you guys. I walk in and there's music playing from the Alexa and I forget that like their home one and their cabin one are connected so they must have accidentally like played it here at the cabin. Anyway, that, I was like, oh, that's weird. So I turned it off and then I'm heating up my food and I look down the hallway. They're, they have a wall of hats, like just sun hats, but it looked like a person. I almost screamed, it was so scary. But um, I've just been sitting here reading. The water was still too cold to go in, so I've just been up here on the deck looking over at the water, reading my heart's desire. We're getting somewhere, things are happening. We, we found out about a lot, actually, and now I believe it's in the synopses that Iris goes to be a war correspondent. My plan is just to like sit out here. I might do some editing just out here on the table. I, I really, it's beautiful out. I don't really feel the need to go inside. We're just gonna hang out. Today's just been like a chill day, which is great because I've just been sleepy. I just feel so relaxed here. <laughs> I like just don't really want to do anything else but just sit here and just hang out. Oh, it's just so peaceful.
excellent lighting by me. <laughs> and I had to come inside because the mosquitoes were getting a little, little, they just like wanted to suck my blood. Vine Rivals is so good. I can't stop reading it. I love it so much. I only have just over three hours left of the book. It is such a slow burn right now. It's just so good. I, I'm hooked. I can see why Sarah Corelli really loves this book and I will probably be purchasing it. I think it's going to be a series. I don't know. Our main characters, they're 18 and 19, may seem older. I don't know if it's just because of like they had to grow up sooner, but they, they seem like they should be in their early 20s. So very close to what they are now. I don't know why they're so young but they, they feel older to me. I'm gonna read on this deliciously comfy couch. I thought about sleeping on it tonight, to be honest, and who knows, maybe I will. This couch is so freaking comfortable. It's also exactly the kind of couch that I want in this color, it's deep set. You just curl up and you can take a nap on it and it's wonderful. I love deep set couches. Mm, unless something happens crazy in the book, I'll probably just update you tomorrow morning. Oh my goodness, what a morning. What an idyllic morning. So obviously you saw we did a little yoga out on the deck this morning, looking at the lake and it was beautiful and everything I could ever dream of. Oh my gosh, I just love it here so much. And then I journaled, so great. And then I read for like maybe 30, yeah, around 30 minutes or so. Um, and then I took myself on a little hot girl walk. We walked for an hour and 15 minutes. And how do I know that? Because I listened to the entire Folklore album plus two songs from Evermore. So I'm just gonna read. I only have two hours left, or less than two hours left of the book, which is great. So then we'll start another one. You guys, I don't know what is going on with my camera. I can't get it to stop clicking. Uh, it's driving me nuts. So, sorry about the audio. It bothers me, I'm sure. The same that it bothers you. I'm probably gonna just eat some lunch right now. I'm so hungry. And then probably, let, yeah, let's just read a little bit and head down to the water. Great news, I finished reading Divine Rivals uh, while I was down at the water. It was so beautiful. Um, there was a lot of weeds and a lot of fish in those weeds and they were 
eaten a lot of the bugs around. Um, so I also didn't want to get eaten. So I just hung out on the raft and laid in my floaty on top of the raft. <laughs> but it was so beautiful out, um, super shaded. So it kept me cool, but also it was so warm out. It didn't matter. Right now we are waiting for water to boil so I can make some mac and cheese because we're having mac and cheese and hot dogs tonight. Ah, I'm probably also gonna make a Moscow. This stove is super fancy. It's an induction stove. And it just took like five minutes trying to figure out how to work it. But let's talk about Divine Rivals while we wait. Wow. Okay, it's definitely a series. And the ending, did I see it coming? Yes and no, but it was it was good. It was a good ending and I'm excited to continue on with the series. I thought that uh, it was a book of the month pick and I was so right. I don't know why I thought it wasn't because when I looked on there originally, it wasn't available and then it came back. So I will most likely the next time I get book of the month. So not this month, but the next month I will most likely do that as an add on because might as well, it's super cheap. <gasps> okay, well, thanks for hanging out with me for this little bit. Hi, <laughs> I broke the cap off of my ginger beer and I like couldn't open it for the longest time. Finally found like a, a can opener and was able to pry it off. Mm. It's so refreshing and so good. I'm so scared I'm gonna stab myself in the eye with this really long straw. I am going to start reading Marriage for One. It is so beautiful out. I was only inside for like a couple hours and it felt too long. Also, I got catch up on everything. I got catch up on my Kindle. My Kindle is nowhere near. My catch up for my hot dog, that's down on my sweatshirt. Ugh, he is so attractive. Oh, I don't even mind that he's on the cover because of how attractive this man is. I know he's gonna be grumpy and like, he's just my type. I'm a golden retriever and I'm looking for like a little sassy cat. I am obviously sunshine to somebody's grumpy. Where art thou, grumpy man of mine? The first page. Right here, note to past self. Do not, I repeat, do not say yes to marrying the handsome stranger you happen to know absolutely nothing about. Do you, Rose Colson, solemnly declare to take? No, nope. nope. What an opening. What a, what? I like this. And I believe it's going to be dual POV because Rose is labeled up at the top. So we're in her POV. Okay, what a start. Let's get back to it. Roll the B-roll. So it turns out I was so wrong, so wrong about the whole premise synopsis of this book. <laughs> Not super wrong. I knew it was Grumpy Sunshine, but I thought it was a small town single parent trope. It's not at all. Obviously like a marriage trope too, or marriage of convenience, but it's not at all. It's not at all. It's Grumpy Sunshine, marriage of convenience. They live in New York. <laughs> so very opposite of small town. It's a big city big city. There's no child to be seen as of now. I don't think that's a plot point at all. I don't know where I got that. Like I said, it's a marriage of convenience. We know why Rose needs the marriage, but we're not really sure why Jack does. That's his name, Jack. And it already like put together Jack and Rose from the Titanic. And Rose is like, we're doomed because of our names anyway. Also, I gotta remind me remind me people and myself when I'm editing this to ask my friend what internet provider they use up here because the internet here is so fast. I uploaded a video and it only took a couple hours whereas like if it would have uploaded at home it would have taken like six hours. So we need we need to find out their provider or what magic sorcery they have upon this lake. about the plating. Uh, something just happened. 
in the book. I don't even know what chapter I'm on. This is so good. Okay, so I just finished chapter seven. And something just happened regarding Jack. Obviously, Rose is gonna find out about it, but it is very suspicious. I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what it's regarding. I am just as blind to it as Rose is. So weird. This is really good though. I enjoy it. I have like eight and a half hours left on the book. We're gonna go to bed, see you in the morning. book is so good. We're getting little snippets as to why Jack proposed this marriage of convenience and his reasoning. So far from what I know, I'm like, hmm, hmm, sir. But it's so cute. He's so grumpy though, like aggressively grumpy, but like in a cute way. <laughs> I have a problem. I'm gonna read for a little bit until I get hungry for lunch. It's noon. Ice cream kind of filled me up a little bit. So I'm just gonna drink some water and read a little bit more because I'm obsessed. Jack is so grumpy and I just love it so much, but like he just does sweet things that you didn't know were sweet. He really needs to read the book, How to Make Friends and Influence People. Because here's the thing, he does what a stereotypical guy does. He doesn't ask questions, like questions that are, you know, promote conversation. He's a very concise guy. Whereas Rose, she's very elaborate and talks a lot so their communication styles differ but it's just cute this is the slowest burn i ain't gotta be so tall all right whoa i just took a little after lunch snooze. <laughs> I passed out for like an hour, I think. I was very tired. Um, and now we're gonna make a pumpkin chai iced because it is hot out. And I'll probably go down to the water in a little bit, maybe. This stuff is so convenient. And I have, I brought my um, vanilla oat creamer. I wish I could like pour it without making an absolute mess. Oh my gosh, did I do it? I did. Wow. Dreams do come true. And I'm using their maple syrup. You can always count on the Midwest families having maple syrup on hand. They also had creamer, but I'm glad I brought my own that way. I didn't have to use theirs. Uh, okay. Perfection. I'm just so used to making mine own, mine own, my own, how I like it, that when I get it at Caribou or Starbucks or somewhere else, it doesn't taste as good. All right, as for our book update, oh my goodness, we are taking a little bit of a turn. Some serious business is happening that I love. Love, 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 grumpy little Jack. Oh, he's so cute. Man, I just, ah. Uh, the thing is, I know the third act breakup is not going to go well. We all know it's coming. Okay, let's not pretend that a romance doesn't have a third act breakup. And we all hate it. But for some reason, it has to happen. And I know this one, this one is going to not go well. So, there's that. But, like, I am such, I'm such a slut for, like, fake dating and marriage of convenience. And 
I just love it so much. And I'm like, is this, is this how I'm going to one day find my partner is by either fake dating them or getting married without like dating first, just a convenient marriage. Am I going to have an arranged marriage? No, no. I could see myself doing like the fake dating or a marriage of convenience for sure, but not an arranged marriage. So there's that. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my latte down to the lake and my book and we're gonna read near the water. Go right up onto the raft and lay my cute little booty there. I guess, I don't know why I feel the need to like ninja. I'm in a silly goofy mood right now. That nap, that nap though. I feel rejuvenated, revitalized, energetic. And this book got me feeling some type of way. So I'm giddy and giggly. Yeah, it got dark fast. <laughs> the, what was I doing? Oh, um, after coming up from the lake, I sat out here and edited this vlog, actually, until my laptop said, hey, your computer's gonna die. You gotta go plug her in. So went in there, finished up editing as much as I could. And then now I'm out here enjoying another Moscow and I'm gonna keep reading. I have, I think, two hours left in the book. I'm 81% of the way through. Ooh. It's getting spicy. There's a lot of yearning and pining. Just the buildup is building. <laughs> it is building up, that's for sure. How many more times can I say I love this book? Because I do. <laughs> Oh no, the third act conflict. It's starting. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm nervous. We have an hour and a half left in this book. Oh. What do we do? morning it's our, excuse me it's our last morning here i'm so sad um as you saw i did some yoga and then i was I ate breakfast like i normally do i got a little bit of editing done and then i was going to take myself on my hot girl walk but then it started to get really breezy i'm like hmm it's just it's supposed to be 97 today so that's weird i got almost to the trail and i'm like it's actually kind of dark out and I looked up <laughs> just dark clouds so I checked the weather and it said it was supposed to rain in like seven minutes so I turned myself around and it's gonna rain for at least it says it's gonna rain for at least 40 minutes or so 
So I figured might as well do some journaling. And then, oh, oh my gosh, I finished Marriage for One last night and it was lovely. Loved the ending. It got really spicy, by the way, like really, really spicy. And whew, loved that for me. It was super great. I will be buying that book. This is the problem with Kindle Unlimited is I've found books that are I really, really love. And now I feel like I need to own them. One more thing about Marriage for One. This is, and it's also in other books, and it really bothers me, is authors use the word gonna, G-O-N-N-A, for going to. And I understand that in dialogue, if that's part of the character's, you know, vibe, which it definitely was with Rose. However, my qualm with it is they use it not in dialogue. And that really bothers me. Just say going to. Also, she used it for Jack. And Jack is not a gonna type of guy. He's a going to type of guy. It's slang and it's sloppy. And again, it's definitely character dependent. And for Jack, using gonna is not gonna work. <laughs> so that's just not who he is as a person. And yeah, when they use it out of dialogue, that's weird to me. It's such a weird thing. And I've noticed that in a lot of books... I don't like it. It's it's such a weird nitpicky thing, but it really like bothers me. Yeah, and now I need to decide. So I brought the wishing game, which we saw was on my TBR for this month, and it's short, it's sweet, it's an easy peasy read. But I still have my Kindle. I still have Kindle Unlimited, and I really want to read the Mindfuck series, which if you get the physical copy, they're all, it's five books, but they're all bound up into a chunky book. But on Kindle Unlimited, they are separated into their individual books. And I looked on Audible, because I always like to look on Audible for time-wise. They all together are about 19 and a half hours, but at the speed I read, we'll say 20. We'll say 20 just to make it a round number. At the speed I read, it would only take me just under 11 and a half hours to read. Mm, what do I do? Because I really want to read The Wishing Game as well. Maybe I'll save that for this coming weekend because we're doing some other stuff this coming weekend and I can't wait for you to join me on it. Oh. Turns out it's a thunderstorm. <laughs> oh, maybe this is my sign that I should kind of head out. Oh, I don't want to though. I really wanted to go on my hot girl walk. All right, I'll journal for a little bit and then we'll decide. <laughs> head out. Oh, I'm so bummed. It's 10:15. It stopped raining, but it's supposed to rain again in like 20 minutes or so, and that's just too late for a hot girl walk. So, we're going to pack up the rest of my stuff, and that's going to conclude the Lockwood Lake Retreat. I just started reading the Mindfuck series, the book 1, and I'm really liking it so far. So, stay tuned for my monthly wrap up at the end of the month for my review on hopefully the whole series. I, I'm very confident that I'll finish it this week because I'm just going to read it like it's one book. <laughs> but 
I had so much fun. I loved it. It was relaxing and we got so much reading done and we just, I had the best time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. I think my camera is still clicking. Oh, I thought I fixed it. Oh, well. All right. Well, with that being said, respect others, respect yourself and do something amazing with your day. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.